What's up, Shopify people? Welcome back to another edition of Coding with Robbie. As always, I'm your host, Robbie, and uh, today's a big day for Shopify. So, their summer edition 2023 just dropped. There's a ton of new product updates, and uh, yeah, in this video, we're just gonna be looking through everything, seeing what's new, and talking about it. So, if you like these kind of videos, like, subscribe, leave a comment, tell your friends, uh, tweet it, Facebook it, whatever, and uh, yeah, let's take a look. All right, so here we are on the announcements page, and it says there's 100 plus product updates. So there's a ton of good stuff in here. And uh, yeah, let's take a look. So this top section is just an overview. I'm gonna skip that. And we'll take a look at these sections that break it down more in depth. So first up, we got the announcement of the AI called Sidekick. This is basically ChatGPT for your Shopify store. It's gonna be built right into the admin panel. So you'll click a little button and a chat window will open. And you can ask it questions like, hey, what's up with my sales this month? Hey, how can I improve this? And it can analyze the data on your store and come up with answers. And it can also perform actions. So you could have it edit descriptions. They show writing blog posts, um, editing copy. Um, I'm pretty sure it can design theme sections and configure your theme. And it's gonna be great. So it's not out yet, but they show uh, some videos here of some of the features. And it says so it should be in beta pretty really soon. Show you. I mean, we check this out, it shows some examples. Every entrepreneur has tons of questions. So, so hey, I've had a drop off in sales from March and it your generates this cool little graph and everything. It is built for the purpose of helping you with what else does it show? It shows them creating a discount with it, um, the making theme that edits. It's gonna be very powerful. So if you've seen my chat GPT videos on Shopify, you know it didn't work too good. I'm sure this will be a lot better. And I'm pretty excited about, about this. So next up, uh, updates to their checkout system. So they're finally releasing their single page checkout. This has been in the works for years. I've seen it tested as far back as two, three years ago. And uh, it says, whoops, it says it's going to convert a lot better, 15% better than other platforms. And I guess this store, uh, Stellar Eats, improved their conversion by 3.5% with the new checkout. Um, and they're finalizing some of their APIs and taking them out of beta. So, you know, the app blocks within checkout, the post-purchase stuff. Um, there's this cart transform function that's coming out. Um, it's going to be more shop pay oriented. So it says shop pay will uh, convert 50% better on the new checkout. Um, there's a new address validation API, and this one's just going to be for Shopify Plus, um, delivery methods, Shopify Plus only. And then the cool part is uh, the editor. So you're going to be able to customize your checkout page a lot more. So you can change the fonts on your checkout. And if you click into this, it seems like you can do a lot of stuff. So it looks like you'll design your checkout page with uh, some JSON like this, where you can change the colors you know, change the font sizes, use a custom font. I'm not sure if you'll be able to upload your own or if it's a set, uh, set of fonts, but that should be cool. And yeah, basically it's gonna add a lot more um, customizability uh, to your checkout page. So it's gonna be Shopify Plus only, but I'm excited for that. That brings us down to sell to every customer. And this section has a ton of great stuff in it. So check this out. First up, you can now customize your store depending on who's viewing it. So maybe a wholesale customer sees something different. Maybe if they're coming from Mexico, they have a different banner. This is gonna allow you to make all different customizations depending on who's viewing your website. So it looks like there's just gonna be a little drop down in your customize window. And you can say, hey, let's do some updates for Canada now. Let's uh, do B2B customers. All stuff like that, this is gonna be pretty powerful. Um, you'll be able to preview draft content, which I thought you could always do, but I guess that's new. Um, so theme sections, I guess you're going to be able to do more drag and drop stuff now with Flexbox. So I'm curious to see how easy this will be to implement on the theme development side. But this is going to give a lot more customizability to the, uh, the user of your theme. So I'm excited for that. It's not out yet, but you can sign up for updates right there. Um, coming on down, you can now filter by meta field. So I've had this problem tons of times. This will be very helpful on the management side of things. Um, there's going to be color schemes, which I thought a lot of themes already had that, but I guess this is a new way to do it. 
And this is going to be very cool. So you're going to be able to build entire pages with meta objects. So in the past or currently you can build like a theme section and use meta objects. This is going to take it on a whole nother level where you can build entire pages. This is going to be very powerful. This is a big announcement. Um, is that out yet? Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's already out. So I'll have to play with that later. Um, what is this? Theme updates that bring your store to life. I don't know what this one is. Okay, it's just updates to the themes with some animations. Okay, this is what I'm excited about, the Shopify subscriptions app. So I've been doing subscriptions forever in the past. It was all third party checkout stuff like, uh, what's it called, recharge or bold subscriptions. And then a couple years ago, they did native subscriptions, but uh, it's just an API and you still have to use an app. Now they have their own first party app, so hopefully that's good and there'll be no need to use some of those third-party ones anymore which aren't the best and then bundles is my number one feature of this whole page so if you've ever done bundles it's a nightmare all the apps suck i'll be honest i don't like the third-party apps and uh, they always just cause issues with discount codes or just other apps like cart apps and stuff like that they've always been hard to work with so native bundles is going to be amazing um, I'll probably start working on this as early as this week. I'm very excited for bundles. Is it out yet? Yes, it's out. Um, some new headless stuff, to be honest with you guys. I don't really mess with the hydrogen headless stuff, but it looks like there's some updates. Um, this is going to be cool. You can stack discounts now. So in the past, you could only do one coupon code at a time. And, uh, yeah, you'd be surprised how often you want to stack coupon codes. So that's going to be big. Is this out yet? Um, I mean, it seems like it is, so that's probably working right now. Local pickup now available in draft orders. Let's see. Increase, shop with pay stuff. Um, storefront API. APIs to support more. Oh, what? So, um, if you've never maxed out your variants, you can only have 100 variants, and it doesn't work when you want a kind of like a made to order product. So, an example I did a store that was for custom rings, and they wanted like different metals, different shapes, different diamonds, and it was way over 100, and it was never possible. So, it looks like you can get above that now and I wonder if you can have more options you can only have three uh, Shopify variant options right now so this is gonna be excited uh, not out yet but we'll see when it comes out manage your listings on top of the marketplace all in one so I don't know too much about that but uh, third-party channels will probably be easier to manage now what else do we got in here? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Some more shop pay stuff. This is more kind of on the fulfillment management side. I don't really deal with this kind of stuff too much, but I'm sure there's some good stuff. So now we're at the app development section and it looks like they've expanded Shopify functions a bunch. So there's nine new function APIs. There's JavaScript. <laughs> JavaScript support, um, versioning, debugging locally, app owned meta fields, and more data. So I haven't messed with functions too much, but these seem like some good updates. Um, there's now a Remix app template. So Shopify bought Remix um, last year sometime. And it's basically a React framework made by the React Router Dom guy. And uh, yeah, they bought that and it looks like they're now going to be using it for apps. So hopefully this isn't forced on us. I kind of like picking my own stuff. But yeah, now with the CLI, you can generate a remix app. Um, meta fields are going to perform better. That's good news. Shopify flow, you can now create flows with um, configuration files instead of manually doing it in the app. Uh, there's extension only apps. So this is cool if you just want a theme block app You don't have to mess with a lot of the other stuff that comes with building an app uh, New UI extensions. So now apps can add blocks to the home page and different places in the admin dashboard uh, There's some design guideline changes some new ways to get discovered on the app store 
some new Shopify flow actions. So I think this app is just for Shopify plus stores. I'm not sure on that, but yeah, they added some more triggers and stuff. App versioning seems pretty cool. Um, an evergreen app bridge built with web components. We'll have to check that out. Let's see. Look at that another time, but it sounds cool. Um, config as code. There's some configuration. This stuff isn't too exciting. So the rest of this stuff doesn't really affect theme and app developers. Uh, so I'm not going to pretend to know what I'm talking about, but we'll kind of skip through it a little bit and see if there's anything that looks cool. So the shop channel, they just made some updates to that. Uh, it looks a little better on mobile. They added a ton of marketing tools. Um, I don't know too much about this, but it looks like pixel stuff is going to be easier. So adding tracking pixels and stuff has always been annoying. Maybe this will make it uh, better. We'll have to see. Uh, it's going to support Google Analytics 4, which the old one's being deprecated pretty soon if it hasn't already happened. Um, this is actually going to be cool. Business to business selling. So we're now going to be able to do volume pricing. Uh, you can have wholesale accounts. And we saw that you can make your store look different for wholesale customers earlier. Uh, this always required a third-party app in the past, so I'm very excited for this. Coming down, there's some new money stuff. Honestly, I don't even know what this is. We'll skip it. And then there's some new fulfillment stuff, which doesn't really affect me, but I'm sure it's good for, good for fulfillment centers and uh, store owners and stuff like that. And then what's this operation stuff? They just designed it a little different. Um, efficiently manage a multi-store. So this will be pretty cool. Um, if you're working on a lot of stores, it looks like you can switch around easier. Benchmark metrics against similar businesses. This will be helpful. Let's see. Easier to use admin, customize your reporting, bring data from other surfaces into Shopify query language notebooks. That sounds cool. I have no idea about it though. And, um, yeah, that's uh, the announcements for this edition. So lots of cool stuff in here. A lot of it's not available yet. A lot of it is. I'll be making some videos on some of these new features. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, uh, tweet it, Facebook it. I don't know. Do whatever. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.